Bob Biker, welcome. Adam Ayers, welcome. All right. Bob, uh, hey, babe. You've been out in the woods lately. Been seeing some nice ones. Got some eggnog tonight. <laughs> Drink up the side. Hey, little go. Adam. Hey, Ryan. Ryan. So what I'm building tonight, guys, is right here. It's already, I, this is mine. So the one on the table is being built for Ryan. Hold it there, you guys can see it. It's a seven inch, uh, has GPS rescue on it. Kind of like a return home function. Like if you're out, uh, I got um, mine for long range. I run the R9 on it. So if I'm way out and I lose video, I just click a switch. This brings it back towards me and gets my video back, and then I take back control. Let me just sit there a little bit longer. Let some people get in. Oh, dude, in the house. Return to China. <laughs> it, he didn't say it was a hump. <laughs> I got to throw it out there. He didn't say it was a hump. It'll return to you, and if you don't take back control of it, it will come down. Uh, believe me, I've seen it happen. Not on this one, but on the other people that's tried it. Vampire in the house. Welcome. John Vampire. C. What's up, John? Welcome. Yeah, it's good to have that feature when you're way out and something happens, especially when we're talking with the R9M uh, module, and I'm running the R9MM receiver. I know you're supposed to have your... Uh, GPS above all your electronics, but it works very well out here. I guess out on that arm. Uh, but, yep. It's worked so far. I've tried to turn my transmitter off when it was probably about 75 feet in the air one day at the park. But I don't think I was far enough away from myself. I think that's why it didn't engage. Although it should fail safe either way and pick up. But something, something didn't go... Ha, ha, according to plan, but the GPS always worked when I enabled um, uh, rescue. I, I would keep wanting to say return home. It's like, because <laughs> it is more or less like a return home. I mean, it snaps, turns right around, looks at you, and then I program it in beta flight for how, uh, how much height do I want it to have uh, when it comes back to me. Um, how far do I want to fly before it starts, you know, coming back towards the ground? So it's set up pretty good. Um, I got the, uh, I never remember the name of that place. Uh, the Vifly uh, Lost Buzzer. This thing works off of um, movement. So if you turn it on, all you got to do is make sure it's charged. Turn it on, and then it just puts out like a little, just silent, like a real low beep. And then when it doesn't detect, movement it gets real loud and it works for a long time and love my drones ed sent that in to me and i use it on this guy all the time so thank you ed cardoso kenny in the house birdman welcome there he is look talking about him love my drones eggnog yes you would definitely like that's, this that's eggnog, what I told him. <laughs> Put, that tells you what kind of week I've had. I put just the right amount of uh, Seagram 7 whiskey in it where you can't taste it. You taste like you're drinking eggnog. You can't even taste that in there. That's the scary part. RC <laughs> Crazy in the house. Welcome. You no, know, it does not have Patron in it. Crystal and Patron do not get along. So I was going to build this Monday on a noob tube, but it's laying out here on the mat. Um, I just I want to get it done. Uh, the more it lays here, the parts probably disappear. So. <laughs> but um, it's been a good quad so far. I can't complain about it. Um, it's $129 what it costs, and it's a PNP. &P. You put your own receiver into it. It is definitely well worth that for a 7-inch quad. And then, you know, of course, you've got Crossfire, whatever. you got the setup right there. 
No, Ryan, I did not put any nutmeg in it. That's, Nor any cinnamon. That's what I asked her last night. Nope, this was bought from the store. Uh, it is... Cloverland. Cloverland. I was trying to think, was it Cloverland or was it Lehigh's? Either or. They're the only two I'll buy. So as you see, we got all the parts here. Some motors. These motors are actually nice. The only downfall of the motor... Vampire said, how far have you flown it? I have had this out right at a half mile mark. Like right there, dude. Like I could spit and touch a half mile. And it told me RSI, RSSI was low. So I just went ahead and whipped it around and bring it back home. Um just for that i'm going to take it out one day and just push it past that point and don't listen to what amber tells me i'm gonna put my hand over her mouth and <laughs> but uh these motors so you see here what goes on is that they got that they're at hard wire so what i'm doing is i've done did one motor so i cut some of the wire off and then put some silicone wire on the end because then when it gets uh you know, and solder all up and whatnot, you're going to have less vibrations with this silicone wire versus the harder wire. And you can see mine. Mine looks ugly. I haven't done it yet. I have to do mine. Um, that wire is, I mean, it's, it's solid as a rock. <laughs> but it works. It does the job. It does what it's meant to do. But, and I just feel no soft mounts. It's all um, mounts with these uh, nylon standoffs so putting that silicone wire in between there will at least Birdman help says a little maybe. maybe his TBS source one will make a live build yes I can do that Mike because I got it um, your your other frame was just by the time trying to put all that in there it wasn't happening that's actually gonna be a nice build that source one with the 20 by 20 mamba and then you got that turtle uh, camera in there and then you got that the um, X6B receiver, where you saw that, that thing's half of a 30 by 30 uh, flight controller, so it'll fit perfect in the back there. And that's one good thing I like about them frames is they have multiple uh, holes drilled in the frame for standoffs, like you see there. We got 20 by 20 holes. Uh, 20 by 20 holes and they don't have no 30 by 30s but for that receiver but i can get in there somewhere and this what this is a source one v3 i have three of them well i have the source one v1 which is here and like cardoso said and then i have two of these hit built the like button if y'all like yes please thank you kenny Later, John C. Thanks for joining us, babe. Yes, John. Thanks for stopping in. Nice seeing you. Get that work it. But yeah, that's going to be a nice build, Mike, with those 2300 motors. And then uh, the only difference on 2300 with the motors is you just have to find the right prop. Like uh, these ones on this guy. Our 5042s. This quad is nice. This one I built. You guys watched me build. Was it Monday I did this? This thing is wow. Like it runs D Shot 1200. I'm telling you, if you haven't checked out my video, check it out. It is, it is smooth as butter. And that's what these are. 2300s. Um, runs real, 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 real well. I was actually surprised at how great it ran out the box. Um, I can't remember what I do. I don't, I, I want. I didn't do anything to the kids. I'm wanting to say to the tune on it. So I think I ran my rates on it, uh, 0.68, and I think 0.80. So we're up around 7.20, I think, on velocity or somewhere like that. Right, right around 800 somewhere. So I think that's where it was. But a really nice flyer. I can't get over how good it is. So Marky's gonna love this thing. Any shit. 120 dollars. And everything that this guy know this guy's a PNP also plug and play. So the only thing you would need is a receiver. Nice, nice quad for the money. Ed, your 
are accepting a lot of challenges lately. What? What's he accepting? Oh, Eric's challenge. Was that where he went through the little gaps? I just watched that. All right, Birdman, I'm going to give you a challenge. I want you to go through the bottom gap, power loop back off into that top one. <laughs> even I even I would have t uh, time doing that. I would probably do it over 20 times and maybe only make it once if I made it once. That's a tight little gap. At least on video, it doesn't look like it. It looks like it, you, it would be hard to get that. Go through and pull back. Toothpick, maybe. <clears throat> Eric, the bitch is the channel. Eric, give everybody a challenge. Props off. Welcome. So, we'll get moving on. Uh, get this thing going. This thing's pretty much really, really easy and i know you guys are gonna say well you say that with everyone every every one of them but uh so basically all you're soldering on with this is the motor heads you pre-tent them solder your motors there and on the flight board if you guys can see I don't know if you can see that real little tiny stuff going on there that's three little uh tabs on the board and you have to pre uh, tin them or jump across which one you want to use s bus or ppm of course s bus is what everyone's using nowadays this is the gps module it is the um they don't actually have it marked on here but this is just the uh what the heck do they call it the eight eight the bn 80 something let me see if it's marked on here i don't think it is but yeah the it says BN220, but it's your average GPS uh, module, just the, just the GPS. There's no compass, no nothing on this or anything, so it won't hold its altitude or anything like that. It's a uh, full, like, race bird, how I fly, <laughs> to flip the roll, to dodge, and all that good stuff, just with GPS on it. Bob said S bus. Does that stand for short bus? Short bus, exactly. <laughs> hey, look. You're joking, but look, it, think about it. It makes it easier for us builders, right? Short bus, that would make sense. <laughs> and, oh. and they say when I, they told me when I started building, um, S bus, let me think, what was it? S bus and D shot uh, 600 was like your best thing to stick with. So, so easy, just. Uh, you know, when you configure it, throw it in a D-Shot 600, no calibrate, no nothing in S-Bus. Instead of, like, uh, Fly Sky, you just have to um, go in through the port, which I had fun doing that this week, remembering all that stuff. Couldn't get it to work through the S-Bus port and tell it I-Bus. It wasn't allowing me to trick it like that, so I soldered to the RX-2 port and went with it anyway. Well, there's a challenge for anyone with a brushed loop. Vampire said, power loop a ceiling fan with a brush loop while wow. the fan is on. Dude, Ryan doesn't have video of that shit, John, but he did it, bro. One night, one night he was live, and I was like, he was live with us on panel. I'm like, Ryan, it'll be cool, dude, if you could fly your whoop in there. He takes the whoop and punches it like you see it go upward. He goes into the ceiling fan with it spinning. I can't remember. I think he one time he hit and one time he came back out the other side. We were like, whoa, what? That shit was hilarious. Props off said, oh, remember CC3D? Um, hang on. You say that. Let me. Uh, <laughs> You're going to make him dig in a box. I think I know where one of those are. Actually, a couple of those, to be honest with you. They're Baduga's favorite. But do got F P buddy that is. Um, oh yeah, I knew right where they were. Look at that. Proud of myself. The church and box. So um, 
props off. So did you do Libre Pilot with uh, CC3D? So I'm going to tell you what, that's like banging your face against the wall. If we still had to do Libre Pilot and Autofly, I can be honest as hell. I wouldn't have this many quads, and I don't even know if I would fly. Yeah, you would. So what we were saying, CC3D, there you have it. Two of them. They've been used. Uh, I got these a while back from Oliver, um, Ducted FPD nowadays. And I had three of them. I sent Lewis one, uh, Baduga FPV. He used it for a while. He actually flashed bait on it. He, He's actually probably the most I've seen someone put time into these things. Well, Prop Talk said, yeah, it was like flying a paper plate. <laughs> Wasn't it? Dude, CC3. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So let's get moving here. So these little wrenches come with this thing. And. I've never found nothing they actually fit. Watch one will fit because I'm live. I don't know if you got to grind them out a little bit and use them as prop nuts, but. Welcome, Code 6. There's nothing. Code 6, welcome. Yep, live build. But these motors uh, were reviewed by, you know, um, higher people, you know, to, uh, on YouTube and. They give these motors real good uh, performance ratings, bearings, and all that. They're real smooth. Um, like I said, I was actually shocked when I flew mine. I couldn't believe it. Crystal couldn't believe it. I was out there one day. I was just flipping and rolling it real low to the ground like a five inch. She's like, Jesus. I'm like, yeah, I know. I can't get over how smooth this thing is. Because um, you guys know the seven inch is usually loose and wobbly and all. This thing is dialed in. I promise you that. I did slight tuning on it. Nothing real serious was needed uh, for it. So Ryan's going to love it. RDFPD. And this uh, is a keychain they send in. It's like a little Kenny AK. Rubbin. He's got a long weekend. But I bet he's got that stuff that's white and cold and nasty. Starts with an S. Yep. He always gets that blur. Alright, so got some longer screws here and the longer ones will go on the inside and the short tough ones on the outside. Monday is Remembrance Day for them. Remembrance Day? Uh -huh. You gotta get your butt to the post office that lives too. Remember that? <laughs> oh aren't you so funny. And this here is just a battery pad. I like what they do here with this. Let me show you. So, this is, you know, your battery pad for there. Just a little rubber slip pad for your battery. And then on this side, you just take these little doodads here and put them like this. The one here and one here has got some 3M sticky tape already applied. Uh, so, what that does, um, most, most people, like myself um, as well, I thought what happened was, okay, so they give you a skid plate for your lipo. It's not how that works, <laughs> and I'll show you why. Here's what they do with it. So you put it against the frame right here, and you see the pads? They kind of fill that void right here with the arms. So you can imagine the screws are on the bottom of that, and then you would, if you're bottom out, usually your light bulb lays against that. Well, that's what I thought was cool, that they include that plate. So when you're going against it, you're going against the plate instead of against the bottom of the quad. So I thought that was a real cool design. And they do it on most of their uh, builds. Um, the Tyro 99 is done as well. And it, I mean, it locks your LiPo in. I'm telling you, it really does. I actually have a couple of those plates laying around. Like I said, I thought they were used for the opposite, <laughs> the bottom. So, but now. All right, so again, put our arm um, on. So if that, if we get that cold, um, white, uh, we don't need it. Nasty stuff. It's Bob's fault because he said he's gonna share. I'm gonna watch him. Seeing Bob's freaking 
sneak bit or sneak things on Instagram. <laughs> uh uh. That one dude was like hissing or something at you? No. <laughs> you know I'm gonna put these all in and just pick it up. It's all gonna fall out back out. That's just what happens. Soft said, "Are you running Beta Flight or INF?" Uh, actually, Beta Flight. Um, like I said, this is just uh the rescue system. Um, I haven't really got built one and got into the INAV part whole GPS full setup like you know a camera birds run or whatever one of these days I'll get in that I was really shocked on how easy uh, it was to set all this up you need a um, flight controller you know with a barometer into it obviously and it's pretty simple I was I was thinking it was pretty tough when everyone else was doing it. I was like nah that's not going to be that easy Chuck come in and said that nasty easy. word Okay. Welcome, brother. Bob said she was either yawning or stretching her jaw. Yeah, I saw that yeah. skin around the front of that damn thing, and my thoughts were, get the hell away from me before I bite your ass. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> no, snakes, uh-uh. Nope. My quads bite, but... Here. It's not it's not like a, a snake attack thing. Like them things just creep up on your shoe and then just tap you on the shoulders like what? <laughs> I should all over myself. Don't like snakes. If my quad fell near a big ass snake and he was sitting there looking at me the way that snake was doing, he can have the quad. <laughs> like hey snake dudes, there's a nice quad over here. Mom said it. she's watching the live stream with him now. Hi, I don't like you. <laughs> now, here's here you go, Bob. You said it's twenty degrees with that white crap. Um, uh, I guarantee you, there's probably no clothes on with a snake. Oh boy. Yep, yeah, I went there. We should have probably asked what snake, I guess. So as you can see, it's pretty uh, easy setup. I guess I kind of do that on there without. I think everybody saw what was going on there. Just put the screws on, like I said, longer ones in the middle, shorter ones on the outside. And I'm just referencing that to anyone that would get this and build it. So believe it or not, it's a pretty hot item for the price. Chuck, move the truck. Chuck, Chuck, move the truck. That's right. He said he's the receptionist. Shit. Taking forever to load. Damn Walmart. Move the it? truck. Go park next to like a big ass cell phone tower. Ed said they're just lizards without feet. Yeah. But they can move fairly damn good for no feet. So these are just a little... <laughs> the little trunnions that lock into the frame. Put them on there. <laughs> oh, God. Bob said no, he keeps his clothes on when he's got the snakes out. He didn't want them to get confused. Yeah, right? Oh, you'd be screwed. Michigan man. Snake swallows penis. <laughs> oh, man. We're, hey, we, we, uh, I'll let you, anyone know that wherever live PD might be in your area, we watch it. <laughs> Me and Crystal always said that wouldn't that be crazy sitting here watching and all of a sudden somebody, somebody we know. Over. <laughs> I'd be like, hold up. Somebody we know, wouldn't that that'd be crazy? But you can't talk to him like that. He's been drinking. <laughs> so like I said, fairly simple put together. Now these arms, um, you saw on mine, they were shrink wrapped, but I only have two pieces so that's going to be something done later ryan does not fly his stuff nowhere near like a fly mine so that's a plus let's go ahead and crank her on down yeah like i said i was going to do this on the fpd noob tube but then i just like wanted to go live and wanted to do something that was on my bench wanted to get it done so i got some i got something to work on over there monday with 
We're going to rebuild it. Oh, my God. I hope the stack should get here. He ordered it. I think it's supposed to come Tuesday. Or, uh, well, all the, the motor showed up today and the receiver for it. So they were supposed to come Monday or Tuesday. So they came fast. So that's the stack. Well, if not, I think I have an option. Crystal won't kill me. Shit. Uh uh. Nope. Not happening. So these. Out of options. You just want to crank down and make sure they seat themselves down into that plate, the sandwich plate going on here. And as you can see, the carbon, it's a little dirty, but nothing real bad. For the price, they're not going to wash the carbon for you, I guess. Birdman said, Chris, are those nylock nuts? Um, what I'm putting on the frame here or here. These are, and then this here is, um, I don't know what the proper term for this is. It's like a, it's got like grooves and then it grabs and locks itself down into that carbon. And then we got this one, I think that we got it. Oh, we got it. So uh, at that point, we'll just take some standoffs and screw on. Four of those. Now that um, that Sky Stars uh, STX two two five that frame was filthy, the carbon on it. So um, usually I'd take it all to the sink and wash it all up, but I didn't do that with this. I'll wipe it down with a bleach wipe when I'm done. Sorry, we got that on. They're nice and. Tighten down. I have uh, somewhere, somewhere to go. some O-rings. So they don't give you nothing for that, but I have these laying here, so I go ahead and put them on. Mine don't have nothing on. Or actually, no, I did put them on mine. I'm telling why. And mine I didn't build on camera. I just went ahead and threw it together. Wait a minute, did I put them on the ESC? I'll put them on both. It doesn't matter. And so those arms look like they would break easy. Honestly, I was surprised when I dropped mine. It did not break an arm, didn't delamit or nothing. So I'm I'm with you on that, but they're a little bit stronger than they look. I promise that. I was shocked that it did not break, to be honest. I'm going to just put this down on here. And then you want to, let me see, well, I know which way it is, but like I said, I referenced to talking to like the camera. So you want to make sure that what side is motor one, two, and three, and four, and this side would be that. Uh, might not come out on the camera, but there's a one, there's a two, and so on, three and four. So let's go ahead and squeeze that down on there. And then we're going to put standoffs on top of it. It's just like stacking blocks. <laughs> and like I said, the soldering is just the motor heads. Uh, everything else is plug and play on it. Ed said, I have little doubt you put them to the test. And Birdman said, hey guys, he almost lost it yesterday. He went to a shop, and the lady told the mechanic that this dude's nuts were stolen on his car. Okay. That's sad. Ed, so, so what you're saying is... uh, You don't want him seized. <laughs> Let me tell you what. You know when I say, they're okay. <laughs> For a car today. Went ripping through uh, the tree. I, the camera angle, it's you can see, is up real high. Um, I was hit, uh, running gates with it a couple weeks ago and forgot to tilt the camera back down. Want to try ripping through that tree, come up over top that shed, did that roll. When I come back out of that roll, there that tree was. I said, hello. 
I stayed in a throttle. I never let out a throttle. I shared a video in the group. Uh, you just hear me in the throttle ah, as it's just constantly spinning. Like I can't even see what's going on. And I never, you hear when that, like that prop must have hit the tree and broke. And then it just, you heard, ah, it changed like pitches. I never let out of the throttle. Like, screw you. All right, so that's all nice and secure. So now we'll work with our motors. Get some more of these out. Just like controller. Keep it up with chat. Yep. Chuck, why do you want dislikes on your channel? Because it's bag. Oh. <laughs> you don't want no damn dislikes. He's just playing. That means he wants likes on his channel, guys. That means go over and like the shit out of his videos. That's what he's saying. He's not getting enough love, is what I'm hearing. So yeah, you see how they're kind of long, so that's where they would set normally. And they barely give you enough wire, to be honest with you, to make that work. Which that one's pretty good, but some other ones will be a little bit shorter than that. So we, we're going to go ahead and just solve that issue. So they give you plenty of uh, hardware for this also. <laughs> Put it in the right hole here will probably make a big difference. And I am out of Loctite, so uh oh, there will not be an option tonight for that. You're out of Loctite. I got a portable coating. I, I know. I got some red out the shed, but uh, <laughs> like that red out the shed. But you do not want to use that on this. Have you ever planned on taking it back apart? Get down in there where you at. There you go. Whoop, whoop. RC Funds is in the house. RC Funds, welcome. And see here, I like the fact that they did at least three screws. Yep, RC Funds were not just the two. world's biggest whoop tonight. Yep. <laughs> that would be one hell of a whoop. I can tell you that. Just get them on slug down there and run them on down. Brian will have fun with this monster. That one's already cranked down, so let's do this before I forget. These ones. All right. John, are you stalking Kenny and Ed? John, stalk. <laughs> and you know that's what's sad. So every time I do put a frame together, I always like to touch on the hardware. This has some good hardware. It's sad that this quality of a quad, $129 for the whole quad, not just for the frame, and you get great hardware. So you take and buy a frame like this, take the hardware out. When you buy your premium frames, use this hardware. and <laughs> Just crazy, you know, that you see that good hardware on cheaper stuff and then the more expensive stuff you buy say flanoceros you get shit hardware just had to drop that in out there when you tighten the screws down you feel it pulling back like you're like oh don't tighten that too tight it might be who's peeking in your windows Kenny <laughs> 
peeking in the windows. All right. Line her up there. Find the hole. I'm doing pretty good. I have to put them glasses on yet. Usually when I start looking at this, oh man, if thing goes cross-eyed and upside down. What size are those? Uh, what size can be here, those partners? This is a was it 25 mm? It is a 25 1800 kb motor. And they send a uh, set of props, which you saw the mine or the same on, which are the Dow. Um, I will have to put the glasses on to read those numbers. 70. Uh, where are we at? I should probably read the green one, not the clear one. They are 7055, 7056 propellers. They're real nice. Like I said, it flies real great. You want to see how this thing flies? Uh, I got, like I said, on my channel videos of it. I was shocked on how smooth it flew. Because I've seen other 7 inches and they have been wobbly real bad wobbly you know tune on that and they say they're usually tough to tune i'm no pro at it i can promise you that yeah, I hear you. i'm not i'm not i'm just not saying that trying to be funny either i'm just like i know like the right things to do i guess i start having it's good to understand it let's say that if you're going to tune good to understand what makes the quad do this and what makes it do that that's that's the main thing kind of like taking your car to the mechanic and say i have a noise up underneath of it <laughs> he's gonna well okay let's find everything that ain't what you're talking about yeah john ryan definitely has a very nice collection <coughs> i got quite a few of ryan's quads here right now that we're doing work on some of them overhauling some of them uh, like I said, that oh my god, that's that's Ryan's. It'll be uh, that I'll be working on Monday. And I have his Nazgul, Nazgul. That make Chuck happy. <laughs> Nazgul. John said, "Is that an M4 in carbon?" Uh, that's an AK in carbon. There we go. Sometimes the carbon's a little tight in there, so I gotta snap that screw in. Which I'd rather it be tight and I have to force that screw in like that than it be loose tolerance. Because that's when you get a bunch of movement, a bunch of wobbles. So there we go. Three motors down. Uh, it's actually an AK. They actually give these in almost every one of the Eoshin Tyros. I don't know what the deal is, it's just a keychain. Somebody said, um, I know who said it, I just ain't calling no, no names. They said it was like a prop wrench, but you can't get that to lock in there. No way, shape, or form to use it as a prop wrench. It's going to slip off. So, <laughs> on that. <laughs> now, Vampire said, did you tell him lower the P and the D for the high idle oscillations? Yeah, lower them together. Don't separate them. Like if you lower one, one point lower the D on the same axis. Yep. Give it to John. He said, yep, after I said that, I noticed the butt. <laughs> John's a butt man. That butt. That He's an AK most deaf. Yes, sir. I'm an AK man myself. But it's good to be able to do some tuning and because when things aren't flying, you know, 
the way you want them or the oscillations are terrible. If you guys ever dealt with any of them, um, when you throttle punch it, wobbles and shakes and makes all kind of crazy sounds. Or if you have one that has the wobble to it, that is terrible. When you want to, not the wobble, but the bounce back, when you flip, it's just like, that's what it feels like you're doing, the quad's doing, but it's just weird. So you see what, I'm, what I was talking about with the wires there? So how they did here, you just got to go right to the sides. Here I'm actually going to be able to come in and get on them like this instead of them being just stuck to the side. It's going to make for a lot cleaner looking build also. We have to cut these back and solder these up. And I got a uh, snake skin that's going to go down the arms of this, so it doesn't matter what this looks like. Yo, 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 Leanne is in the house. Leanne, what's up? How is National going? Night Train said, tell us about that stack again, TBS stack again, Chris. Wobbles. Uh, mine's locked in now, dude. Uh, like I said, you get to learn things. And that was the uh, one first thing got everything out of, all the noise out of that. That's what I got this here on. And welcome, Mike. The TBS Calibre V2 stack. And it's locked in. Flies really good. Throttle it to the moon and back. He says, National Start Wednesday. Dang it, I was thinking you were coming here and telling me, woo, woo, I just won Nationals. Let's see, it's some hard wire right here. But we're going to get it right. <laughs> Guys, if you don't know, check out Leon Vander that's up in here. He is at Nationals right now. Well, he's down in Florida, and he's going to Nationals starting Wednesday. So wish him luck. He's actually into the racing. He's inspired me to get into it. So that's why you see a little bit on my channel. <laughs> and I say just a little bit because it, it's ugly. So, But, uh, yeah, he's actually inspired me to actually get into it a little bit. So something different, something new to learn. Um, full props to him. For the way he can fly, he's just amazing on them sticks. If you guys haven't tried it, set up some race gates. Turn your camera up pretty high. And try to stay below the gates and then go through the gates. And not saying you can't do it. You will do it. You'll you will you will you'll struggle with it. And after about, well, eight or ten packs, you'll start picking it up. And I'm actually flying on his rates um, that he told me to put on my quad and all, too. So I'm, like, going full at it trying to learn it all at one time so it's been fun like i said wait is nationals actually in st augustine ed what ed you better be there he said there's crappy weather right now dag nabbit wait racers ed, don't care weather. that's a little bit of rain and that'll be gone soon i don't know it might be 50 or 60 degrees or be there with a big sign, Ed swinging it. Lee and Vander. Oh, no. Lee and Vander. Lee and Vander. Lee and I told you I would have flown down with you. You know, just in case uh, you, you needed, like, um, a partner in crime. You probably don't need that. Uh, no, he would have wanted you to go then. <laughs> I would love to went down there with him. Been there in them grandstand supporting him. I mean, I had a t-shirt made up and shit. <laughs> All right, now I got to put these glasses on. The solder in this wire here, you have to get it very hot. See, I knew it. He said, ah, ha, ha, ha. The weather here is going to be 60 and 70. I know. Next 
I turned my gun down a little bit too, so you see me going slower. But as you can see, I ain't working with that. We ain't S busting nothing on this one. <laughs> we need that heat. Bring that heat. Like I said, this wire, it takes a little bit to transfer that heat. You got solder stick to it. It's just that way. So they want to fly today or? This week? I know somebody has. Oh, got it on the carbon. I knew it. We had said I have flown every day. Him, Birdman. I gotta watch your video on my channel. Watch it with a uh, crystal a little bit on her iPad the other night. Lean, kicking butt, the freestyle. John said I flew a Burby F thirty six today. Does that count? Of course it counts. Oh yeah. You flew it, yeah. This is like. Wayne said only a couple packs a day. Wayne, welcome. Did you say Wayne? No. I thought you said just Wayne. Did you, you say got rain? something in your ears? Yeah. I said Liam said only a couple packs a day. Oh, that's all you need. Oy, oy, oy. I flew one today. I had three on me, but hit those trees and broke that arm. Look, put spider on this arm too. I'm going all in on this one. This wire's terrible. Why? And why is that, John? You have to elaborate on that because there's been a couple discussions lately on jumpers and why they're so great. He said, I'm waiting for a new jumper to come in B2 carbon. I don't trust the old jumper to fly anymore. You didn't get the new T16 there, one to make big grapes about? I'm done with the junker. I ain't messing with that thing no more. I know they did a new thing and. Y'all know my story with it. At least most of y'all know my mm. jumper story. So, But, hey, if it works for you, hell yeah. You don't beat it all up, John? Not working no more? See, see the solder just pushes right back off the frame. No harm, no foul there. And then we just solder up our wire. I know I should have the helping hands thing, but that makes it too easy. Gonna we'll need some heat sleep. <laughs> it is getting real cold here, so tomorrow I'm not sure if it's supposed to be real cold or not. But uh, I got some packs charging, definitely going out somewhere tomorrow. Ripping. From my cutter, from right beside me. What? What vampires get confused? <laughs> Which confused, bad John? Which John? Which John? Okay, what well, call you vampire now, John? Here, RC. <coughs> what? Double A's in the phones. house. Double A. What's up, brother? Appreciate you stopping by. Okay, so John said it was acting weird, and I didn't want to go for the T16 just yet. The V2 has Bugs 3 protocol built in, and I wanted to give it a shot. Besides, it was less than 100 bucks. Gotcha. Oh, okay, yes, yeah, so you got that one with the bugs protocols already built in. I got you. 
I put so much solder on that wire. Well, damn, you got a nice deal then. You said it also has Hall's gimbal. Oh, Hall gimbals, yes, sir. Two sevens. At least for yours, they were fifty bucks for the two of them. So yeah, they were really nice. A transmitter under nice. hundred bucks for them, and it's nice. Indeed. <laughs> Vampire said that's better. At least then I know you're talking to me. Hey, John. At least that way we kept getting your attention, right, Vampire? Because every time you heard the word John, it was like, oh, what? So it. You and RC Funds and John C were all in here earlier at the same time. It would have really been confusing. Right. Burn this with a lighter second. So I'm gonna throw some uh, snake skins over this. So it's not gonna matter what it looks like. Not that it's ugly anyway. Electrical tape would have been ugly. Vampire <laughs> said T16 feels good, but then again, the throw on the gimbals is shorter than the QX7. Yeah, I had that, not the T16. I understand that they did a lot of work on it, but I went down the jumper road once before, and I'm not going back down it. And got jumped for that jumper. Yeah, really. <laughs> Serious. So oh, everyone nice. just gonna have that next week. Everyone just coming in. Uh, this is what we're building here. A seven inch race drone with GPS rescue. Let's get some snake skins out. Double A said just finished building the screech. Uh oh. Just need to go through the configuring part. And Leon said, Hey, Chris, I tried to use that snake skin, but it fell off after only five flights. Huh? You definitely had the wrong snake skin, bro. Either that or he didn't burn his ends. Are you burning the ends on it, Leon? Like, see, I see, I just cut that off the roll. Just. And it kind of melts the end, keeps it from wanting to uh, defrazzle, spray all up on you. This stuff makes it look so much better, and it does help. Um, I mean, this shows you right here. It didn't do nothing to there, and then the zip tie is a little loose, but it actually held. So I, I lost nothing there on that break today. Psycho Works is in the house. Psycho Works. What's up, Johnny? What's going on? You got to kind of get it down over top of all this mess. So you got to. He said, sometimes it's a pain. Well, but it's worth I it. He shrinked it on both ends. Okay, so use the heat shrink, so it should have worked. Might not have done it enough, though. Try use a lighter. Ah. I know your dad, or you ready to play with Fire Boy, but you have to use kind of a lighter on it, to be honest with you. It does stay on there. I use it all the time. I should cut that a little oh, longer, I guess. Birdman's got a good point. Lynn, it was all that power. It got scared, and it flew off. That I would agree on. It's like, nope, can't handle it. I'm gone. I'm out. No doubt on that, Birdman. Boy, it got skills. John said, well, that thing looks sick. With the skinny arms, seems like it will cut down on the draft. It flies really, really great. I ain't just saying that because I'm a bang and a silly and I can sell it to you. Believe me, if it was junk, I would tell you it was junk and not worth it. <coughs> All right, legit question. Chris, can an arm break at the joint when you crash due to being over tightened? Uh, I would like to think not, but because the way it sandwiches all together, you know. Alvin, 
dropping in to say hi and see how everyone's doing. Welcome, babe. Alvin, welcome. Uh, tweet. Here we go. Oh, let's these wires. I'm trying to skip a step here. <laughs> Lee said. 2007 1800 KB6S 280 mm, full send too much for it? <laughs> uh, just a bit. Oh no, 2207, not 2007. Thought no. that one was a little strange. No, we're going to call that pilot error on that snakeskin. Uh uh. Because that's about the only thing I can call you pilot error on. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that Leon has the uh, same error that Jim had with his snakeskin? I think something like that was probably going on. Look like, yeah, buckwheat in a headlock or something. Because <laughs> <laughs> look on my, let me see, my Hawk 5 is probably, and I'm talking prop strike city. You see, look, right there. And I can actually redo it, but, uh, I mean, it takes a beating. And this is the cheaper stuff when I first started with the snake skins. Uh, this stuff here is really good. Um, the Alex Tech, pick it up on Amazon. Real good snake skin. Psycho Works says, looks like you need some more decals on that workstation. Yes, guys, um, check out, uh, if you guys are doing some decals, check out what, uh, Psycho Work sent me. Um, I did a video, he wanted to get that, uh, unique Q500 in the, uh, um, DDP, you guys know Def, uh, Drone Pilot, Scott, well, Scott, um, put us together once before with a print, TPU print and all, and, um, so he asked me, hey, I'll, you know, do some stickers up. Man, this, these stickers are beautiful. Um, I stuck them on window. really love the silver. I love them all, but the silver really pops on, like, the darker tinted windows. So if you guys need some uh, decals done for your channel, hit him up. I'm sure he'd be glad to do it. Everything on here, I mean, it's it's really good work. Like, um, I used to do, not do vinyl, but um, go to, like, a... a Final place because I used to decal my car all up. I like the little fast and furious thing, and these things are just remind me of just what you would go to like a sign shop and have made up. Now his car sport everybody's quad decals. <laughs> yeah, now I'm putting putting all the decals on my car. Like I love it. But yes, you guys did a great job on them. Really appreciate it. I see you're enjoying that Q500. Like I said, they're they're nice. Like I said, I, flew, I fly mine every now and again. It's just after flying this kind of stuff, it's hard to go back <laughs> to like that. And I feel like I'm like really on the little bus. I feel S bus, as uh, Bob was saying earlier. So at the end of it, I just put a little zip tie on it, give it a little snug, and pretty much it. I used to put shrink wrap on the ends of them, but man, it got old. So I just run this around there now. You're welcome. Thank you. You and Debbie are awesome. She did a great job keeping up with that on the with that camera. She has a so she take, I don't is that a DSLR camera she was using, Johnny? She took that thing, come past that drone. She was like, right, right in Emily's video, but she was right with that thing. Just try to film one of these monsters one day. <laughs> Johnny ever gets off into this kind it's of stuff. It's not as easy stuff. as it looks. I'm say Crystal will do that with her camera. She'll like come up, come up, I'll get some pictures. I'm all around her like vroom, 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 oh my vroom, God. Vroom. She's like, Well, you stay still. It's hard to capture that damn thing. <laughs> no, it's hard to keep it in focus. So that's what we're looking at. Nice nice and clean looking versus mine. Um like I said, I gotta do mine with that silicone wire. That's just shady. Leanne said, Chris, when are you going to get a sleep five? I know, Leanne. You have talked to my uh, accountant back here on that. No. Guys, but let me tell you something. If you want to get into racing. Night vampire. Night vampire. Have a good one. Must be nine o'clock. Yep. Tequila time. <laughs> Take care, brother. 
Um, if you guys want to get into racing and you don't want to bash up your freestyle frame and you really want to get a racing frame that will take it, check out the uh, Friday FPV Lycan ULTX 5.1. This thing is amazing. Um, this is what Liam flies um, that's in the lobby. So if you want to fly like that pro racer, this is what he runs. <laughs> don't say you ain't no pro. You're a pro. You just... You just ain't there yet, but you will be. One day you're going to turn on your TV and see Leon on DRL, guys. Trust me. But this frame has taken some massive abuse. Um, I did go down on, say, concrete. I say it's it's like, a, what's it called, crush and run after, like, years and years and years and years and years of being packed down. So just like concrete. And I did um, break an arm and delam this one and then mess this cage up here. But... I took a racer out and was trying to freestyle with it. So <laughs> I say that, but I was racing, not, I was just going around the tree, but I, I, what, I what did I do? I pitched forward without throttle first, and that was ball game. But other than that, I took this thing out Monday or Tuesday or something like that. One day last week and flew five packs through it. Same props are still on it. Never broke a prop, just kept straightening them back out. This thing is a great frame trust me check it out if you want to get a racer frame um it's coming in i think 243 grams i think it was real super light that thing because you know where i'm like flying we're kind of getting settled into the freestyle thing get used to it getting more confident don't have that shakiness going on that we always have in the beginning that thing makes me shake so i know there's something there <laughs> Johnny says it's an old-school Samsung video camera. Okay. She did good with staying with that uh, drone. Good job. Crystal Bank, slow down. Like, I can't go no slower. Hey, I've captured a lot of shit with my iPad that a lot of people didn't think. Oh, about. I know. That you have. <laughs> <laughs> right place, right time. Great. Like I said on this, just every time you do it, and um, just like free it, and it works for you. Trust me, it will. I know a lighter. Your dad might be like, "You're not touching a lighter," so, but you got to get that good burn onto it, and not too much neither, because. Of course, you're going to melt it at that point. But man, this stuff here is golden. And you can see, you can see how good it holds together when I pull down. You can see like how much it'll bag here and it's not bagging nothing there. So that goes to show you how hard, you know, how much that lighter holds it melted together. Here, I pulled it down or out too far. Oh, we'll come back. We're trying to hide the green. There we go. Still in here, Ryan? You're asleep yet? <laughs> no, Ryan's still here. He was telling me that his mom's going to be out uh, at Chicken Take on Thursday. Mm -hmm. I had a Photoshop there, but I wanted to meet up, but oh. I got to work until 4 or so. Oh, that was that thing she was telling you. Uh huh. That sucks. I know. You can she learn. Good 45 minutes from work, so. Crystal's been learning for Tiger Fab. Having fun with that. She's actually getting pretty good with it, too. In the beginning, she was using all the auto stuff, and now she's starting to do it on her own, which is really cool. Some of her pictures in the beginning, I got to tell you, look like, hey, beer goggles on. <laughs> she was shooting with what was it that time? <laughs> something turned on and she shouldn't have or something and she's like what the hell was I doing hey you live and you learn right alright so now here I Johnny, like to always so check gonna, you guys gonna get me hooked on this and the wifey is gonna trip well send her my way maybe she, I can calm her back down a little I she won't trip I promise <laughs> So I like to put my camera plate in just to see what kind of room I got to come around with my wires. 
Like I said, this part's new. I didn't do this on mine. I just kind of went with the wires. I wanted to get it in the air, to be honest with you. I want to fly this thing. Do to do. You know that green dude's always around Bergman. Is that green or blue? Green or blue? No, it's green. It's green. End of discussion. It's green. Good right there. Work. Leon said he managed to get all the ligands and the slate five working. So he's going to have four quads and five batteries for nationals. Wait, you said work. And lots of props. Wait, you said working. So that tells me that you've done crashed them. And, um, what are you doing? Can't flying? Be, can't be messing them up, man. Got to keep them top notch for that race. Waiting on that text. Dude, I just kicked everybody's butt. Like they're done. They're over with. They're crying. <laughs> You're going to do it, man. You're going to whoop them. That's good. You got everything up and running, ready for it. Yeah, we got spares. and We'll have to just go there. Uh, Lynn got, said I haven't broken anything like, yet. You just said you got it all ready, so I thought you might have some minor bumps in the road. <laughs> So I said it's fun doing those gates. It really is. And now that I got that pipe that is banging the ground, it makes it so much easier because I am lazy. And then I had that footage, which the other footage turned out way better. And I don't know exactly what happened with it. I had it on, I thought I had it on the computer, but I might have watched it on a laptop. But when I first started doing freestyle, I kind of thought, and uh, Double A asked this question on my video, um, so hitting the gate, does it feel like more confident, more or less like on a freestyle? And it does. It does make you more confident. Um, I thought the freestyler would make the racer because you're on freestyle, you're hitting like, I'm always like low to the ground trying to hit smaller gaps and things like that. But I've learned now that it seems like because in the racing thing, you, you have to learn discipline. You have to stay low, get in and out of those gates as fast as possible. So you have tasks at hand to do to where freestyle, you're just open-minded to go up and have fun and, you know, just do the Night, play. Night, Kenny. Enjoy that long weekend, babe. Night, Kenny. She'll get that package to the post office and let you know, bro. I promise. My shipping department, I'll step up on them. <laughs> have a good one. She's probably giving me the look. I just can't see it. <laughs> it's probably a good thing the camera's facing down to the work path. Dang. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. That's much cleaner. I hate doing builds that are all over the place. And you get done like, whoa, what happened there? Well, I missed the tip. <laughs> And these wires just make it so much easier to be able to do that. And this is just ends that I had off of something else. Let me get this wire to stick here. Just some scraps I had left over. Just threw over here in the pile. And then thought, yeah, it'd be great to use for this. And here we are. I have another pile over there to do mine whenever I decide to do it. As you guys can see right here, it's it's really not that difficult, especially on these this thing right here, because you're doing mainly just like what I'm doing here. You wouldn't, well, you wouldn't have to do this unless you really were concerned about those wires. But other than that, normally on this build, you're just going ahead and pre-tin these up, solder these wires to there. Um, they were long enough. If you're just coming in, I'd cut them off. Um, and then putting the softer wire up here so then less vibrations get back to the flight controller and all. And uh, so like I said, normally you're not even doing this step here. This is just another step that I'm doing. I always find things that I can do different with them. <laughs> what would make it better? I can't say it's going to fly any better than mine, to be honest with you. I'd be shocked if it did. And then I know I would do this in a minute on mine. 
And most, uh, there are a lot of people out there have built these. They put in the uh, little standoffs too, the little gummy ones. You guys know what I'm talking about. Those uh, ones have the threads in them and they're kind of like soft in the middle. They put them on there and they said this thing really acted really nice, but I didn't see no different to do mine like that. <laughs> and I always like using heat shrink better than electrical tape much cleaner looking grabs much better usually I use a heat gun but like I said this I'm putting the snake skins in so. I like William said yes right Sandy is hard and you need discipline discipline and uh -uh. <clears throat> Not just any gap, anyway, however, uh-uh, doesn't work that way in racing. You're absolutely right, racing, dude. When I try to but roll, roll it is a heck thing, of a lot of fun when you win, and winning is the best feeling in racing. I can only imagine. I would get up and be ecstatic if I did that. And I can almost tell you the feeling because, like I said, uh, me and Russell, when we were going up to uh, – Robs, which I have, I want to get back up there so bad. Like, oh. <laughs> that like we're I didn't, I didn't know. Get oh, this Russell? in. No, I didn't send this end up good enough. Um, but yeah, when we went up there, we were, we were kind of getting in those gates, and we were up there with a freestyle quad and uh, running with Martin. That was that was cool. I like that because Martin was whooping us every time. So we started like, okay, Russell went there and put his mind one day and started going around them gates, and I was just like. Uh-huh. See what he was doing, and I kind of picked that up and went with it. And I can't wait to go up there and really go around those gates now, you know. Now that I actually know how to do a little bit of that. Thanks to Leon. Put me on the right road. He's a tough coach, though, guys. I got to tell you. <laughs> it's like you put in this rates and runner with the runner open, wide open. Now, now I said I got to get down to my... uh. He wants me to go down to 60% throttle so I can get start running the top of the throttle. I don't run uh, my throttle open too far. Oh, Lord. You just said, or type the magical words, Johnny. What? We got to go to Johnny's house. Why would he say? Uh, Chris, I would love to see you fly through my 112-year-old barn. First hay barn built in the area. Dude, I would rip that barn. You would call the police on me. <laughs> I would rape it. I have been wanting to do a barn for so long. Fine. And you think where we're at, you'd be able to find an old barn? No. No. <laughs> Nothing around. Jeremy uh, has one too. Reaper uh, access to one. Oh my God, I want to fly a barn so bad. That and like chase a train down the tracks. That's like two of my things I definitely want to do. And I cringe every time I see a train and he's got a quad. I actually did. There was some parked on the tracks that I actually messed with with my Baby Hawk R, but lost the footage. I actually lost yeah. the quad in there. Russell had to climb like freaking eight to ten foot fence and get it from <coughs> He's a boss. Johnny said I got one ready for you. Man, you're in what, Washington now? Woo! Wait, or, where? Or Washington State. What is it? Is that Europe? You're, you're in like the furthest Washington, right? Not Washington, like Washington State or something. Holy shit, that's like on the other side. <laughs> yeah, no. Why couldn't you be like down the street, Johnny? Yeah. I'd have done saw your barn and knocking on your door. Hey, the ground sir? moves over there, doesn't it? Sir, can I uh, rape your barn? I don't know. I mean, they, 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 wait. This might be damn close to Alaska, though. I thought so. I might be wrong because you know me with my directions. But. Yeah, I know. I'm waiting to see if he responds to that. I think up in that area, I think. East Washington. Huh. Shit. How cold is it up there right now? Oh, we got back. No, I just saw his video the other day, so he got snow yet. I didn't say that the S word. I said, how cold is it? 
that S word doesn't, it might even be too cold for that S word. <laughs> you know, the negative degree temperatures, it, that S stuff doesn't even like the fall. So you're anywhere near where like the, uh, the boats go out for like the, uh, what was that called? The Alaska things. That would be cool. Chase them out. Of course, freaking. We talked about the uh, the one the crab things. That's me. No, in Alaska, and then it was uh they they went out in Washington right there too. The uh boat. I say boats, but the crab fishers. Yeah, the crabberman ones. That'll be cool. Well, depending on how cold it is, chase one of them guys out. He said it's thirty-five. Look, look, I knew it. I knew Ed was full of it. Leon said it was in the nineties down there today. Damn it, Leon! Bundle me up some of that sunshine and warmth and bring it back home, babe. Uh huh. I told you I should have gone with him. You could have gone to work for me. Like I said, that wire is absolutely hot there. It is a son of a gun for taking that solder. Get back up here. We're going to make it work, though. There we go. And our last one. We'll put some more solder on this guy, too. Like I said, they use a hot, hot iron where they make, where they prefab these things at. Because they pre tend the motor wires for you. And, uh,. I noticed on that first one that I did, it was kind of tough. Yeah, I'll take a drink. I figured you might need uh, a I gotta second. Redo that. That's not acceptable. I don't want to take solder on that back side. Get in there. A little acro all over the floor here. Temperature right now, hang on. It's pretty cool out right here. Right now. 29. Too cold. I'm going to make this thing eat solder. Guys, please, everyone, also welcome Debbie Pratt. Debbie is Psycho Works wife. Welcome. So she's in for an adventure because PsychoWorks, a.k.a. Johnny, is stepping into the realm of FPV. So if you need any advice on how to stay sane, hook up with me on Messenger. It's an interesting road. <laughs> Listen to her. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for stopping in. Listen to Leon. It's so hot, so humid, it's awful. Can't stay outside for long. He doesn't know me. I would be out there all the time. Wait till he comes back home. Yeah, he's going to freeze. No. There you go, shoot the things again. No. I'd rather blob it on there and snip it back than not have enough on there, to be honest with you. They are northeast Washington, an hour from Canada. But that's not the Canada that has the Niagara Falls. So. You guys are up there. Ooh. Yeah, they're way up there. Man, that's a teaser, Johnny. Tell me about that barn. I ain't going to be able to hit that thing. <laughs> that would be so cool. You'll have to fly. Yeah, and I know. I'm not talking about flying a quad. I said. If they let me nope. get the pilot seat, nope. I'll be good. I can handle a plane. Nope. Never know until they let me try, right? I can do this. No passengers. Everything else I've tried flying, I've been good at. 
<laughs> no passengers, why? That'd be the best part. Then you know you have to be safe. Oh my god. <sighs> what? John, RC Fun said, Debbie, your husband is a gentleman and a scholar. A scholar. How was that, Psycho? Welcome to our crazy family, our crazy drone family. We pick on each other, we help each other, we educate each other. We laugh together, we cry together. All right, we're working on the last one now. And after this, it's going to go zoom. Because it's like I said, this is just a step that I'm doing. Oh, Lord. I don't know. No Niagara there, because that's over here near us. He said, lots of volcanoes up here, though. I told you the ground shakes up there. Your uh, property is beautiful. I've, I've done scoped your trees. Trust me. <laughs> that's the first thing Chris looks for when he's looking at, at watching people's videos. He's like, oh, man. Well, you never know where someone's <laughs> at, right? And they're just like, oh, dude, we ought to get together. Next thing you know, to be around the block. Like, yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, I would be out there looking for quads also because I would lose so many in those trees. But I tell you what, it would be fun to fly those things come across there and just dive down. The Kellers on that video you did so beautiful. Look, John said he thought it was cold there. It's 41. I'll trade you, John. I'm telling you, these bays kind of like they can save us and they can screw us all at the same time. Yeah, it's pretty chilly out there. And when you live on a peninsula and there's water extremely close, yeah, your weather's a lot different than other people's at times. But beautiful place to live, other than Maryland. Been here all my life. I'm just saying that stupid lull stuff there. But other than that, good. Okay, let's turn these off. And we will be done with motors. Leon said, 50s is cold here in Florida. Yeah, I know. He said, listen, the weather is disgusting right now. In a few weeks, <laughs> it will be paradise, though. Uh-uh. No. See, I like the hot weather. The hotter, the better. It doesn't matter. I got them whoops ready, uh, Leon. When you get older, Leon, you'll understand. I'm ready for that thing going on, man. We're going to get together, guys, and fly. Look at that. Almost dropped that over top that ESC. I'm glad it did not do that. Thank you. I would have got it off. but And that's mainly flat, too. And I'll show you guys a tip just in case the new guys that are building off. Um, take you some tape. Doesn't matter what color. Um, until you get, like, really good. Or don't work, like, over your board. But kind of do this. And you can just layer that over there, and that'll stop any solder from dropping down. It will save your life on some things. I've only had one thing I couldn't recoup and get it out of there. But this here, uh, I got this ESC was sent into me by Holy Squish. Uh, check out his channel, dude. He flies that freaking Falco X like he dances the quad. Um, but he got some solder up here on these capacitors right here so i just went ahead and i'll float it all back out and got it all back out and he's like well just keep it and it's a nice esc um watch olaf i don't know olaf's the name of his channel i don't know if it's olaf or not he tortured tested this esc he is a uh, pyro drones uh one of their pilots one of the pro pilots it's freaking crazy the torture he put through this is this didn't you say you burnt one of them up already uh lee in them Oh, oh, Olaf couldn't. John, John wants to know if you notice any difference when flying in cold weather or hot weather. Yes. Besides battery light. Um. Because that's a that's a key factor right there. Your batteries get cold, they drain. They fast. do. But there's a solution coming out for that, and his name is Raz FPV. Razman FPV to be exact. He actually is taking, you guys know cozies for like what you put your drink in. 
He's actually uh, got someone working on some form where they're like sewing them up to where you put your lipos in them. And he has seen results in it. Um, him and um, others have saw results into that. So that's going to be really cool. Uh, yes, but you do see depletion and batteries very much faster. Um, you can shake your lipo and it does give... No, I'm kidding. Don't get tied up on that mess. You know, most a lot of people believe that. That uh, somebody started that and said you shake your don't lipos. Don't do that. <laughs> that you just that, made a fatal mistake. Oh, I don't care. You know me. Um, <laughs> that if you shook your not that this is a lipo, this is a session mount. But if you shook your lipo, you got better performance out the pack. And people actually did it and swore, <laughs> swore to God that they got freaking better results. No, doesn't it shake around enough on the quad? Wouldn't it? I can guarantee you, mine shake enough. Well, Johnny. I can tell you right here, right now, as an equal partner in the drone network, you will not that run into that here. What's that? He said, thank you. Every up here in my area, as well as Spokane, everybody is a click and like to make fun of me for what I fly. No. Our motto is nonsense. here. Put the transmitter slash controller, whatever you want to call it, in your hand. Plaster a smile on your face and enjoy our hobby. We started out with toy grades, went on to camera birds. He, he talked to Scott. And now Chris knows. has gone on to the MPV race. But at the same time, we embrace everybody. We don't care what you fly. I don't care if it's a Sima X5. Everybody is welcome here. Johnny has those also. Um, yeah, and that's it's it's not like oh look I'm putting that yeah putting that in G and D we don't want that. And that's sad that they're like that. And I know what you I know what you're saying, Johnny. Uh, we've seen it. We we've been yeah. around long enough. I, I definitely see it. Now, uh, to be honest with you, my show used to do a lot better than what it did. And a lot of people have went in that direction because they're like, and I understand if they can't get into the flipping and rolling and stuff like that. But when you hear them talking trash about it, that that's when it really starts to bother you. But to each their own, if you don't like it, I understand. Um, but yes, it is not about what you fly. It's about having fun, enjoying the hobby. Um, I have camera birds. I have toy grade birds. I still do to this day. Um, like I said, won't be nothing for Chris Little pull up and I'm out in the yard flying my Bugs 3 Mini. Nope. Oh, we're going to be coming down the road my and Bugs being 3. buzzed by a drone. <laughs> and I'm like, well, Chris is flying. And like I said, in the yard and all, like when I just want to have fun and it's like crappy weather, Um, a lot of times I won't take out the race drones just because of the water drops and stuff. I don't want to flip in a row and smash through my neighbor's windshield of his car. So I'll take the toy grades out, and man, I still have a blast with them. Mike so. Brooks. Mike Brooks. Welcome. Oh, baby. Paper airplanes are even welcome here as well. You know, yep. John, RC Funds. No matter he what has you his fly. paper airplanes. Ryan has his paper airplanes. I know he's shooting me for that, but like I said, it doesn't matter what nope. you fly as long as you enjoy our hobby. Yep. And you caught us on kind of an off week because this is not our typical style show. We actually usually have drone news uh, as well as guests and interactions. So hope to see you back. Who's that? Johnny. Okay. Now I thought someone coming and said something just because it's not a normal show. Yeah, normally we're uh, you're looking at our mugs and we're talking about something and just it's always about drones. Uh, you know, at times I don't know if you guys know, but there was a time that I was told I couldn't talk drones on the channel, and to me that's nonsense because that's what this is about. It's about helping people and uh sharing the knowledge um like i said i do a lot of the builds on the fpv noob tube channel so i wanted to do some over here too um and show what i do because a lot of people don't make it over to the noob tube channel um 
no problem there, but just kind of show you guys what goes on. Uh, I love building. I actually, would, if they say, well, you, if you could pick one, fly or build, I'd probably just build, to be honest with you. But they have to have me something build all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's fun to build. Like I said, t take things. Like this is a kit, obviously, you're going to have all all your components. You need it. Um, a lot of people here have special feelings for a horse one or a bug three. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey. Uh, freaking bugs three, man. I will always love the bugs three. Isn't that the one you had like four or five of? Yes, I had <laughs> so many of the bugs three and force ones and. Uh, but yes, great flyers to have fun with. Definitely great starters. I actually still have my bugs three. Uh. My original one, the original very first Bugs 3, when it come out, you guys remember the version one? I still have that thing. It's a little wonky at times, but it still does great. Got the Bugs 3 Mini. Mike All right. said, Chris, that looks like a hell of a bird you're building there. Mike, this thing is awesome, brother. I actually already have one. Um, it's a 7-inch uh, GPS recovery do-it-yourself uh, race drone. So this thing does all the flipping, acro, and rolling, all that good stuff. And then um, I have a long-range system set up onto it that I'll pop a module in my transmitter and fly. Uh, I've been right at a half mile with it, um, which isn't much. But you guys know, uh, if you never flew your quad that far away, try just a quarter mile once, and you'll be shaking in your boots because <laughs> it's something mental, you know. But yeah, this thing is really, really nice. Um, so this is our DFPVs that's in the lobby here. Uh, he went ahead and purchased one. I told him if he purchased it, I'd build it for him, send it in. So, and that goes for anybody. Uh, if you purchase it through my link, like I would build it for you, not a problem, and do it live. So it looks like we're all good. We got our power wire, capacitor. Um, we got our battery red, grounds. We're good there. All the motor heads look good. I put some. Uh, O-rings on these standoffs. Like I said, it doesn't come with these. I have these just laying around from the Mamba stacks. They send them in almost every Mamba stack. So I've had tons of Mamba stacks, you guys know. So this is just your header that plugs in here from the uh, ESC, which makes everything talk to the flight controller. Just plug that in there. And then you can take the wire and kind of do like this and kind of roll it back under and that kind of cleans it up for you and doesn't have the wire sticking out right here. And like I said, soldering on this, you're just going to jump these two little pads. Um, you know, if you were to build this and uh, for your S-Bus and other than that, everything else is plug and play. You got your uh, camera, your VTX, GPS module, and receiver. Um, the receiver will be using the XM Plus, so we'll just use this cord here. And like I said, that's just going to plug and play there. I don't have no problems with these, you know, losing signal or anything. Um, for the VTX, I like to take and put uh, solder directly to the board, to the main power, because um, your flight controller. It has five volt ports on it, you know, five volts or some have nine and and then on. Um, but it's the same as like a battery. I don't have one in front of me. But you know, when you look on your LiPo batteries, it says milliamp hour. Well, your flight controller is the same, you know, for that. So this thing is the same way. So this is uh, seven to 24 volts. And but if you look specs up on this, there would be a milliamp hour uh, rating. And you have to take that in perspective of this wire to the flight controller, the camera wire to the flight controller, the receiver pulling five volts from your flight controller. And I know I talk this all the time, but I try to remind everybody that. So if you can wire to your main power, just do that. Ryan's going to run 5S on this. So this goes to 24 volts. There will be no issue there at all. And then the camera goes to Well, I got a message 40 volts for you. For me? Yes, for you. Uh-oh. Tell the old man. I said, hey, he's doing awesome with his channel, hobby, and community. 
Eric the Red RC and Outdoors is in the house. Eric, welcome, brother. Hey, Eric, uh, you'll know you'll know who I'm talking about with this. I just built this for any shit, Marky. I know you remember Marky. So I uh, got to the point where I could build him a race quad and send it to him. Full get up transmitter, um, monitor, everything. Uh, and put him into the, show him a little bit of the hobby that we're into. Um, but yeah, I appreciate that, man. I really do. Thank you so much. Uh, Leon did not get to tell you, but he told you in chat. Um, his brother uh -huh. uh, kind of like ran over his whoop on his bike. So now Leon's got to get a new frame and a new motor. Jiminy. What are we going to do with them kids? <laughs> <laughs> On the alien? The alien? I hate these little JST plugs right here. There. Thing. But Eric, um, I really appreciate them. They're kind words, man. Uh, Eric, guys, have saw me from the very beginning on my channel. And I always like, man, I love to be able to do that, you know, help people and give knowledge. That's what it's all he about. Said, yes, I do. That's awesome, Chris. Yeah, Marky was ecstatic. So I, I, I still stay in touch with him a little bit, you know, with text. So I texted him one day. I said, man, guess what? I, like, I want to build you a race drone. He was like, what? He's like, no way, dude. I'm like, yeah. And Eric, you're you're part of this inspiration here because you're wizard, man. That's I'm telling you, that wizard was the bomb. He's take that thing out this field and set freaking night gates up, lights and stuff. His best stuff was the freaking rope or uh, RC wars where he'd shoot Roman candles at the oh, ground Lord. vehicles. Chris laughed <laughs> so hard. I had to come in here just to find out what he was watching. And then I'm like, oh my god. God, I see you doing this shit. He's like, yeah. I'm like, no. <laughs> every 4th of July, your your ears should burn, Eric. I just tell everybody about it. I'm like, go there. So if you ever see like strange people on your channel, I don't know if they actually come over, <laughs> but I tell everybody about that. I'm like, dude, you have to go check this out. This was epic. Liam said, new great things coming from Friday FPV soon. <laughs> Some racing frames, freestyle frames, toothpick, everything. Toothpick, He's stop gonna playing. He's going to text you later on about one of the new racing frames from Friday FPV. I'm going to try my best to get it. For sure. I like what they're doing over there. I really do. When I got that frame and uh, I saw the quality control sheet inside of there, that just tickled me. Because I'll be honest with you, this build tonight was missing three of the uh, the frame screws there to go down and put in the frame. But I built so much stuff, I had them here. So. Eric said, yeah, I got to get back into it. My channel looks like a fishing channel. You know what <laughs> I say about that, Eric? You do what makes you happy. You know how to get everybody's blood bone again. Take that freaking zombie out there and run across that water. That shit was crazy. He come across them. He keep going around all the uh, water, and all of a sudden, he just cuts across it one day, dude. That freaking thing just walked right across the water. <laughs> like, ah, remember, what was it, the park ranger or something come up to you or something? <laughs> that shit was crazy, dude. That little car was moving. That's what I remember your channel, mainly for the zombie car and the way you flip that thing up them hills and roll that thing over and land back on its wheel. That and that wizard, dude. The wizard just had my tongue hanging out. Like, oh, look at this thing. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? Because <laughs> at that time, I was green. I didn't do nothing, you know. Look, I, put, I took all that time to put them on, not even thinking. Standoffs going on there because the BTX That's was on top of that. That's you were telling everybody in comments, one of these days I'm going to be doing that. Yep. Everybody's like, man, it, it takes a lot to fly them things. I'm like, ah, dude, you can do it. Like, don't never tell yourself. I forget. Uh, Nightly and. Nightly and. 
Be good, man. Have fun. Good luck at fine our uh, nationals. Let's do finals. Kick ass. Take names. But it, <laughs> it was another one. Uh, that me and him used to chat back and forth on YouTube, you know, through the comment stuff, and uh, he was really good. And uh, he's the one got me into flying that little CX-10 and stuff. He'd take that thing, man, rip it down his street. Like it was nothing. Little toy grade quad. Like, man, how do you fly that great? I know. I put these freaking things all together. Oh, you all that know time. it, babe. You know that. We got to chat about street after national sometime. For sure. You know that's right. Especially that big trophy you're going to have to show everybody. Night, Johnny. Thanks for hanging out with us. Night, Johnny. Be good, brother. We're good at it. <laughs> Appreciate you stopping in. He's watching a bus around wheel right now. Uh-oh. Yo, yo, yo. Ryan D's nuts is in the house. What have you been up to? What's up, D's nuts? How you been, brother? Okay, so we're gonna go in there. Reds or we're robots. Always killing them robots. All right, so camera angle or camera plate, brother. Yes, guys, make sure you all share the love with Psycho Works and his lovely wife Debbie as well. Exactly, guys. Ellie and honey, you know I'm always gonna make you blush, babe. <laughs> He's stop making me blush so much. <laughs> <laughs> She's good at it. See, even the camera wire is kind of that stiffer wire. Eh. I like seeing that been that silicone wire. But the camera to give you is the Cadex, uh, it's the Turbo, decent camera, not bad, I've run it in quite a few of my rigs actually. Eric said, yeah, I need to sit down and take your beta plate set up still, laugh out loud. Dang, you should be a boss at that already. <laughs> yeah, beta flight, it's not too hard, to be honest with you. If you need any help, I got you on that pretty simple uh the hardest part of beta flight to be honest with you and that's your computer is to make sure the drivers are installed um that's a pain in the push. it really is the drivers and most of most of them now they have them pretty straight so when you download it it kind of talks to it and whatnot but um you still have some that have issues He's not said he crashed his eye flight the other day. Uh -oh. I'm trying to go five inch again. Accidentally put it in acro mode. Hey, get out of there. Get out of there. Acro climb up. <laughs> trying to go acro mode. That's what's up. Gotta do the acro, man. RC Lazy Gaming. I don't know. I haven't seen that, but good control. Dr. Right. Drone. Welcome, my dear. Dr. Drone. Welcome. Appreciate you stopping in. That's another one putting his sticks up there. Dr. Drone getting them in. Going real good on your sticks. He said he got pretty lucky on that crash. He only needs a new receiver. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you got to pay the price. Yeah, it's going to switch these around. Ah, I guarantee you that's your problem, Eric. He said, that could be my problem. Old clogged up computers. You know, we actually run on an older computer. And Chris had a lot of problems with Betaflight until we figured out which drivers to install. It and was a nightmare. Then he was actually able to get it running. So if you can't figure it out, Get up with Chris and he knows which ones to, to 
fill you in to install. Yep, we get you going on it for sure. Hey, Dr. Drone, I appreciate your video with them fat sharks uh, about that calibration. I appreciate you sharing that. Um, I've done it once before, but I really didn't know, you know, what it was about. And I didn't have my quad turned on, so I guess it really never calibrated. But that was a really nice video, really instructional, I think, that a lot of people will learn from. Trying to get that angle down a little bit. I don't want the camera boosted all the way up. Oh, Ryan. <laughs> Pick the thing up and be like, whoa. Because mine has pretty good high camera angle. Because when Leon tried to chase me, he's like, slow down. I'm like, I'm really not going that fast. He's like, man, you're booking. <laughs> so it has pretty serious angle, I guess. And he was flying line of sight. No, I was, no. Oh. Lee's was flying line of sight. He was looking for a horizon. Oh, okay. Oh, and then you put it in a. He had an acro by accident. Oh crap! He said it needs a new camera. It looks like crap. Throw so his goggles. Gotcha. Well, at least you found it, and that's the best thing. When it went down. Did you ever get in that one place and get your hawk? Was it the baby hawk out of there? Mm, in the fence. Poor Rusty had to climb up somewhere between an 8 and 10 foot fence the other day for Chris. Yeah, my baby hawk car. I saw the trains like, ooh, the trains. All right, so we got that in. Just tuck this wire down in there. Believe me, Eric, I understand about, um, we'll call them issues. I have a few of my own, but. Just plug going in here. Once we figured out which ones it is, it makes it a piece of cake. And then you can get in there and take her around. And as long, my, my number one thing that I try to tell everybody. Is when you're going into beta flight. If you don't know what you're doing, take a picture of what it showed you originally before right. you mess with anything. Always take a picture that exactly. Way, reference you back. can go back to exactly what it was before. Kind of like you guys remember drum brakes on, on the cars. The old the old trick to that was don't take both sides apart at one time. It's kind of how that like, way you'll always have a reference point. Yep. And it may sound stupid, but it's better safe than sorry. Before I learned tuning, I used to do that. Freaking go in there and change stuff. Wouldn't take the picture. And yes, kick myself in the rear hard. Trying to get it back to where it was. <laughs> Without all the oscillations and wobbling and <laughs> Rasmin be building too. What is this? Y'all got like mental telepathy or something? Yep. Let's build. Raz, <laughs> what's up, pimping? Yeah, he's. And Rasmin, who is our saying, you don't ever have to apologize as long as you make it in Bob Alive. Doesn't matter if it's the last second of the show and you pop in and say, hey, did you know what? You made it. I'm here. Now see this mount here. I won't put that bar shirt on there because I think I can get this tight without using any of that. And then because a lot of times, I don't know if a lot of you know this, but uh, so if you use all this stuff here and get that all sandwiched in between here. What happens then when you tighten this nut down here, your antenna still turns. Think of this. So if you got this tight as possible and this still does this, that means the antenna didn't seat down inside there like it's supposed to. So that will give you bad reception. I love it. These is, of course, in Florida as well. He said, man, this weather is perfect for flying. No sweat. Now, 
Lynn is from, well, technically he lives up here. And he's currently in Daytona. And he was just in chat complaining that it's too hot. <laughs> it's too humid. You can't be outside. Right? <laughs> and that cable just kind of comes across there and sits like that. Right? I agree, Raz. I looked earlier. It was 29. Let's see what it is now. Where Raz is at 16. Yeah. Yep, still 29. I'll keep my 29. You keep your 16. It's getting pretty chilly here, but that 21 is cold for here. And then just give it a hold on. Uh, hold on it, to this end here. Be. And then give it a nice. Their low nug. tonight is 58. Right. And then our top plate. Debbie Rasband is in New York. And I will go back and rewire it at VTX. There's just no need to do all that online. Um, <coughs> I'll show you with that. That's just going to consist of me popping out the positive and negative, routing it down here and soldering it to there. So we'll take care of all that. And then that's why I'm really not pressed about this wire. It's sticking out too much outside. It'll all be trimmed back. <laughs> I just want to more or less get it built here and so we can plug it in and get some chimes. Eric said, Chris, you have bigger hands than mine. How do you handle hand? that little stuff? My hands were made for playing football. It is tough, man. Some of this stuff to handle. And especially when I get into uh, like messing with these here, the whoops. And then building these little things. Oh, crap. They're just tiny, tiny, tiny. <laughs> but I do it. I managed to get it done. <laughs> Keep that lens on there. So uh, that looks like everything. Um, well, the GPS, I'll just show you with this. this is it. Ryan's not going the GPS route on this so um but this guy here would just and i want to reference it the video just in case someone watches this that's going to build this and want to watch this video so we just plug that in there uh like i said mine i put here it works real well um they say have it above all your electronics and so mine works real well right there so it should be like up here to get it above everything but um, that's where I put it at for now. Seems to work very well. But that's what you would do here, and then it just plugs in the side right here. And then you just route it down through there, you know, and mount it on the arm, like so. A lot of people mount them back here. Um, I've seen them mount here to give you a little uh, 3M sticky pad for it. Just peel it off stick it in place but like i said ryan's not going that route and then what you do is you go into beta flight and then uh you set it all up so like you're uh fail safe instead of saying no pulse or uh you know normally on my race quads if they fail safe they drop instead of you know doing whatever else you can get them to do and that's the best thing have them drop you know go find them but this guy will in enable itself and come home uh it's a return home if you if you guys fly camera birds and it's a GPS rescue if you're more or less into the race drones. Because when you say rate, uh, GPS to the racers, they're like, uh-uh, I don't, I don't mess with that stuff. So, Raz is also building a 7-inch, different frame, but a 7-inch. Yeah, yeah. Look at them height turds, I mean trains. <laughs> screw you. Sorry for the fingerprint. So as you can tell, I use my iPad a lot. So that's what Razman FPV is building, guys. Check out his channel. He also does what I do, gets people flying, helps them at any cost. Epic man, really appreciate you. I appreciate everybody, but it really uh, is cool to run into someone else that's doing pretty much the same thing. Um, like I said, I, I get people flying. It doesn't. It's not about the money. It really isn't. And I don't say that and then charge people two, three hundred dollars to do everything, <laughs> you know, like most people do. I'm humble and then I charge eight hundred, nine dollars for freaking stupid stuff. Like, no, 
That's not. I don't care if you're. I don't care if you're wealthy and you have a million dollars. It still ain't right to char overcharge you. Uh, you know, just because you have money. The way I look at it, I like doing it to help people, keep them in the hobby, keep them flying. That's why I like doing these builds here. To be honest with you, um, the bang good thing, I like doing because it gets to show different things. Uh, give you guys some knowledge. Give me some knowledge. This this one here, one hundred and twenty nine dollars. You cannot beat it. Um, I don't know Raz. Is, I think Raz is building his all from all parts, so he would tell you that he's probably got way more than that wrapped up in that seven inch. I guarantee he is with those motors, even though I know they were uh, given to you and help you know help you out, but they still add the price in there, and it, you would see that it's a lot more than one hundred twenty nine dollars. Now, not comparing that you know frame quality or anything else, but I think for what you get here, it's well worth it. Mars. Hey, baby. Mars, welcome. And I just want to say that if you're interested in this, link is in the description down below. Um, if you want to purchase it, you just don't have the time or don't want to deal with assembling it, putting it all together, uh, I will be willing to help you out for that. No problem. Um, just because you purchased it from my link, I'll take care of you. You just pay shipping, you know. But, all right. I think um, other than the receiver, I got to pull that out of the pack it's out there add the receiver in uh this is a built quad and then like i said throw it on beta flight you gotta do to configure it and that's always part of building uh when you get done you just hook her into the computer there to beta flight like we we're talking earlier do the configuring uh it's not a whole lot i'm not don't want to scare people off with that uh it can be intimidating it was really intimidating for me when i started it and i was lost just and like I said, it's all intimidation. Once you really sit back and understand that it's not that hard, and mainly understanding the components um, would be your best bet. And to learn that, uh, I could tell you, and you saw as I was going through here, I explained to you what parts were. But check out the FPV Noob Tube. Um, e Drone does a bind and fly series over there, and he's like breaking it down, explaining to you guys what the ESC is, what the flight controller is, your motors. And it kind of helps you understand more and more and more and more about building and stuff like that. Um, what it does, what he considers it. And he kind of puts it towards the human body, like the heart and stuff like that. So that's really cool. Check that out for sure. And the one here, I kind of just like to run a zip tie. I run this down over here and then zip tie it off to the side. I think mine, mine has one on it, but it needs to be a better job done. <laughs> so I'll definitely do it on Ryan's or get it to this post here. Because don't want that ripping off. No, these, that's um, not RC Fun Diversions. That is RDFPV Ryan. Yes. That is his drone. Yep, RDFPV. And if you can, John would like to see the front one. If you can grab a hold. Um, John. Greg's in the house. He said, still hot as hell down here. Greg, welcome, brother. Appreciate stopping in. Y'all need to send me some of that warmth. It's cold as shit up here. John, I'm going to disappoint, but I don't have the frog no more. I have a trans tech, and unfortunately, it's got a broken paw. <laughs> happened today. Uh, 6S into a limb. I sp it spiraled. I never let out of the throttle. I'm like, nope. And it just, it bored through the trees and just ripped the arm clean off that thing. But I don't have that no more. I want to build another Trans Tech Frog, to be honest. I like that. Real nice build. Real nice flyer. You're going to like that frame. It's a real nice setup. Tight build, though. It, it is definitely a tight build. I will give you a heads up on that. Um, but... RC Fun said, I'm never intimidated when building quads. If I get stuck, all I have to do is send it to MD95 PSI. Yep, you know that, brother. I'm always here to help you. No doubt. What happened to his frog, Crystal? Um, Ryan. Ryan's got one frog. And. I built Joe a frog. Uh, you guys there, remember yeah, Joe. There, there, um. <clears throat> You, you remember that Joe. And this kind of just plate just goes on like that. Kind of put your one arm, put your one side through there. 
and then uh, bring it on the back around, bring it through the other side, and then kind of push it down on there. Like I said, I love the aspect of this on what they had in mind here. On how when you put your pack against there now, it just presses against this, and you don't you're not into all those screws and all. I mean, it's really nice. It puts the battery in there really, really good. So I probably have to pull the strap through a little bit more, but you get the idea on what's going on there. Um, so let me get a battery. We'll plug it in. I trust my work. I shouldn't have to throw the meter on it. Let me grab some power. Need power for inputs. Uh, yeah, Joe's that um crashed uh DGI at the beach. That Joe. Bill, newfound drone productions. Welcome, babe. Bill, welcome. Sorry. So we just go on and pop her in. There you have it. That's all we need. Another successful build. Second chime. Uh, see, we got BTX working here. We got my monitor. See, now you remember, John. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh-huh. Uh, I will need a battery for that. Hang on. Exactly. And it sings. Let's unplug it so we don't burn the VTX down. I haven't forgotten about April. And the good thing is where uh, my company changed hands, my inventory used to be in April, and now it's in February. So that's the good thing about that. A little bit more free time in April now. Greg said, don't forget about April. I wouldn't forget about her. <laughs> he didn't say Amber. All right. Just going to scroll through here. Find it. I don't know what random channel it's on right now. That's close. There we have it. Got video, you guys can see that. Nice clear video. It sings and we can see. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. No smoke, no fire. Well, some would argue with that. <laughs> and like I said, these guys are real nice. Like I said, the Eashin, I know. A lot of people revert to the name and said, no, 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 no. But trust me, $129, you can't go wrong for a 7-inch GPS rescue. I'll uh, show you mine here built with props on everything. And I don't know about you guys, but I personally love those props, especially the blue. And And... I have my green or the blue on the front, but they're main, meant to be, you know, your clear on the front to keep it out of your camera shot. Um, I don't, it doesn't matter to me to see props. It really doesn't. Uh, I was real impressed with this thing. Like I said, when I went out and flew it, um, I put 6S on this already also. So <laughs> I've run it multiple times with 6S and I, this, this setup right here, like you see, I got that TBS Triumph longer antenna on it. But they give you like the TBS Triumph uh, style antenna, and uh, I want <laughs> almost a half mile on just this antenna. This setup. John said, "Are they Dow Cyclones?" They are Dow Cyclones. That they are. I don't know if they're Cyclones, they're but they're fifty-six. Yeah, they're seventy fifty-six exactly. Right, Mars? Aren't they blue props? Sexy, aye. Yeah. Aye, aye, aye. And Raz also had no smoke. No That's smoke this time. What? What? See, hanging out, me, man. See, see how things are going now. <laughs> but yeah, guys, check out Raz. Like I said, nice channel going on over there. He'll take freaking uh TPU or PLA or whatever the heck it is for printing. He'll make his shit. He'll use a heat gun and mold that stuff together. 
I love what he what he's doing over there. So kind of like stuff that I would do, just whatever you got, make it work. That you always have, John. You have always been a doll man. And Everybody it, else would swap props, jump around, jump around. And they give you a, you know a God, session mount for it. You know you zip tie it on, but. Rick said, I kind of like five blades better on a seven inch. That sound, yo. Yes, they, the six inch and seven inch, yes, is crazy sounding. Because I got a six inch that's just almost the size of that seven inch, to be honest with you. This, this guy here. But yeah, you put five blades on a six or seven inch, even on a five inch, it has that unique sound to it. And get ready to have your prop nuts cranked down because that's exactly what it does. <laughs> But yeah, you see that. Look, and this is a six inch, and this is a seven inch. Hmm. This thing would probably accommodate that seven inch prop to be on. Well, not on the front where I. We'd have to get the arms almost though. Look at that. Without that mount on the top of there, this would do the seven inch arms all day. Look, it clears the frame. And they do have a. Uh, HD mount for your uh, like GoPro uh, fives and sevens and stuff, and I believe what that mount is would swipe right underneath of that. So it's pretty insane. This is the Flynosaurus BFF. It's not bad, just bad hardware. Uh, carbon seems to be pretty good. Just run you some big long bolts through there, and don't give a crap. Everything holds together at that point. <laughs> but uh, I fly the crap out of it. It's fun. Good flyer, nice and smooth. <coughs> yes, John, the camera mount did come with it. Yes, this did come with it. I did not print this, and it is real nice job. You see that they print it with very, very nice. Same on mine. Birdman has an awesome suggestion. What's that? He said a PC box fan. We'll keep that BTX cool. He has one. He plugs in whenever his quad is plugged in to beta flight. Right. He said hook the fan up to a toy power supply. 12 volt or 9.6 is fine. Or a lot of times what I'll do, Mike, is just unplug the BTX if that's possible. Or a lot of times it's not possible because we're hardwiring them in. But if you can unplug it, unplug it. That's what I do on a lot of things. Just get it unplugged and not overheat and stuff but yes that's a good idea to put the fan on it really good idea and we'll throw some zip ties on there and mount that on like i said ryan's not going with the gps uh so this would just be like a backup for mine i guess maybe i could put two on and make it stronger i don't know <laughs> or put it on some other quad um i thought like i said in the beginning with the race quads with gps at first was like what the hell but then once you understand what it does it's really cool but guys with that we're going to go ahead and end this we appreciate your time appreciate you hanging out with us hope you learned something um did i learn anything tonight of course you did i did somehow some way i'll have to go back and figure out what i learned but uh usually i learn something on every live stream like uh what was it the last one i built I thought all Emacs red bottoms were all 2300 KV. These ones are 2750 KV. So these things are little powerhouses. But I said you learn something well, all the got time. Some advice. Okay. Let me hear His it. advice is to never get into FPV. It's all you'll want to do, and you are constantly broke. I well can, said. Well said. I can say that because I fell in a rut about a couple weeks ago. Where I wasn't doing nothing, housework, whatever I was supposed to do, get my stuff done, da, da 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 So now I'm mixing it up, doing some things, trying to balance it out as Chuck we got gave me some advice. Yeah, so I kind of just do this, go out, do some yard work, hang out with Crystal. We go hiking in the woods and things. So now I'm going to get back into playing Xbox, try to put a whole bunch of stuff in my bowl and then balance it out. Because you can get lost in this stuff. Um, I love helping people and Crystal is like, are you ever going to get off your phone? Because I'm always <laughs> like that. Send people, you know, build sheets and whatnot and things like that. So, but it's awesome. It's a great hobby to get into. I love, like I said, helping people and getting people flying and never going to make fun of you what you fly. If you fly toy grades, nope. race birds, Everybody's Walmart. Fun. 
it doesn't matter. We're we're here for the uh, community. So again, guys, Remember, guys, get out there this weekend. Put that controller transmitter in your hand. Plaster a smile on your face and fly. Yeah. If you can't get outside, do it in the house. Fly the whoops. Fly the minis. Fly the micros. If not, get on the simulator. Just remember, enjoy our hobby. We thank you all for hanging out with us. Hope you guys all have a great weekend. And remember, guys. Catch you on the next one. We love y'all. Thank you, guys. Be good or be good at it.